What is going on, guys? Welcome to episode 31. Man, games are getting expensive. Like, did you see that? Like, Battlefront for Xbox for 60 boxes. Platinum hits. Einhander for the PlayStation 1, $105. Man, that's crazy. So, woo! We hit the uh, thrift stores and stuff today. One thrift store I went to was... Uh, Half off of blue tag, and then on the orange tags, anything that was under ten dollars was seventy-five cents. So we picked up Toy Story for the Super Nintendo. Again, that was half off, so three bucks for that one. The rest of these games are all orange tags, so these are going to be seventy-five cents a piece. Uh, World Cup USA, nineteen ninety-four. It's a good year. Another copy of Brunswick. Tournament of Champions Bowling. Bassmasters Classic. And again, like I said, all those were, were 75 cents. And for 75 cents, I'm not going to leave a cartridge game behind. Um, if it's a game I already have or it's a sports game or something, just give it away. You know what I mean? Give it to somebody that doesn't have it. Uh, picked up RBI Baseball. The Tengen cart, and then of course they had RBI Baseball 3. So, uh, yeah, I've got RBI Baseball 2, so that completes the RBI Baseball Tengen series, I think, on the NES. Uh, yeah, so I, I thought that was a pretty good score. Um, again, not the greatest games or anything like that, but they were cheap. They're cartridge games, and they're games I didn't have, so there's really no better, <laughs> there's no reason not to buy them, right? Alright, I uh, saw this at a thrift store, picked it up for $3.93 World Games. Looks like we've got some, some sumo and some horse riding and some cliff diving. Can't wait to get into this one. Uh, you never know, it might be a Let's Play the Classic. Uh, picked up at Half Price Books for $2.99. GT64, an N64 game that I didn't have. Um, I'm going to have to audit my N64 collection. I, th I think we're at like 175 or something. We're, so, yeah, kind of kind of getting close to that last 100. Uh, picked up for 99 cents. I was telling a friend of mine that I need to get more Game Boy games in my collection. So, uh, for 99 cents, picked up Boxel. Um, and I played this game as a kid, like a friend down the street or whatever. We would switch games and I, I played this game. I remember kind of being like a, like a puzzle game, like a warehouse box moving puzzle game i don't know we'll see but for 99 cents it's a great price uh last game we picked up um i got sd uh, superior defender gun gundam force showdown for the playstation 2 for 4.99 complete with the manual it's in great shape um i don't really know a lot about it but uh, it did look somewhat interesting and uh yeah, I mean, it goes for about 10 bucks, so it's not the greatest deal, but guys, that's what we picked up at Thrift this week. Now, this weekend is the Atari Enthusiast Group of Columbus Convention. Um, it's typically a small convention, so uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get some stuff there, and uh, yeah, we'll see. I want to welcome everybody to the world's smallest video game convention. Welcome to the Antari Enthusiast Group of Columbus 2015 Convention. Isn't it magnificent?
on guys we are back it is laundry day so i am rocking the plain white tee hey there delilah i'm i'm sorry i'm sorry youtube i'm sorry sorry that one's on me <laughs> as you saw in the video uh we went to the world's smallest video game convention that was the uh the atari computer enthusiast group of columbus uh it's basically like like eight older gentlemen who grew up in the Intellivision Atari age and uh, they have a little convention every year and when I say little I literally mean little that's a basement of a Baptist church <laughs> and uh, it's very tiny as you guys saw half the vendors weren't even there um, now last year all the vendors were there and there was a bunch of stuff but uh, this year yeah there was nothing going uh, let's see it trying to think of the highlights to give you there uh, Mega Man X3 cartridge at 180 bucks um, the guy was a, the guy's a has a retail store so they don't really budge on prices a lot uh, let's see the same guy super game team had Mega Man X3 they had R type for uh, PlayStation and uh, per rapper the rapper for like 40 bucks uh, let's see oh they had, he had fire emblem for the GameCube path of radiance it was complete the manual was a little tattered um, but he wanted like 95 bucks for that, which isn't a horrible deal on that game. I think it's going for about 115, 120 complete, maybe like right now. Um, Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition, the guy had one. He wanted 50 bucks for it, which isn't a horrible price. It's not the best price, but again, those guys don't really negotiate um, at these smaller conventions. Uh, the box of NES games you guys saw it there, I pulled it out. Casino Kid. Picked it up for three bucks, so not a terrible investment. I thought that I had that game as a as a kid, but when I started to play it, um, turns out that wasn't the game. It was a different casino game that I had. So the search continues for that one. And uh, yeah, Casino Kid. We'll we'll add it to the collection. Not a big deal. Three bucks of a not a tremendous investment. Uh, the only other thing that I picked up at uh, the Atari Group Convention guy had kind of a box of manuals. They weren't really in any order, but uh, they were three bucks or two for five dollars. So for five bucks, picked up the manual for Kung Fu. Mine was uh, moldy on the inside, and this one's actually in really nice condition. So love Kung Fu. You guys know that it's one of my favorite games for the NES. And then uh, picked up a, actually a pretty nice condition Super Mario Brothers three manual. Um, I only have a couple games to fill in that blue box of games that I got with all the NES boxes, American Gladiators, and uh, Kirby, and Super Mario Bros. 3. It did come with a manual. The manual was all like ripped to hell, so I figured I might as well go ahead and pick up a replacement. Love this manual. You know, it's all in color. It's fantastic. So, all right, that's it, man. So, uh, the three years that we've gone to the, uh, the Atari groups... <laughs> convention the first year i spent twelve dollars last year i didn't spend anything and this year guys i spent eight dollars five on the manuals three on casino kids so all right well after that on the way back like we always do on a saturday we hit up the garage sales so let's see if we got anything there All right, guys, after the uh, the Atari convention, we hit up some garages. Probably hit 10 sales, not that many. Um, did come across one that did have some PlayStation games. They were $4 each, PlayStation 2 games, 4 bucks each, I mean. And, uh, yeah, you guys saw it in the video. I'm so uh, very excited. I'm so excited to get this. Mobile Light Force 2 for the PlayStation 2. Now, do not let this cover art fool you because it's horrible. It's infamous like Mega Man for NES. This is a bullet hell style shooter. Um, it's actually like a, like a grazer type shooter. Uh, if you watch my Castle Shikigami 2, let's play the classics. I uh, talked about this game real quick. When uh, Gunbird came over from Japan, it was ported. Well, it came out on the Dreamcast. But when it went to the PlayStation, it was uh, renamed Mobile Light Force. Um, and then Mobile Light Force 2, which isn't Gunbird 2. This is actually a different game. It's called uh, Shikigami no Shiro. 
or Castle Shikigami 1. And if you saw the uh, the Castle Shikigami 2 playthrough that I did, Castle Shikigami 2 is actually Mobile Light Force 3 or Shikigami no Shiro 2. So if you got all that straight, then you have a better command of Japanese style bullet hell shoot 'em ups than I do. But uh, it's complete. And yeah, definitely excited to have it. I can't wait to play it. Like I said, it looks looks badass. Um, it looks basically identical to, to Castle Shikigami 2, and it should because they're related. So, um, guys, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of my day. I might hit up some new game stores that opened up like 20 minutes away. Um, I don't know. I might try and hit up some late sales or look on Craigslist or try and find something to get into. So, all right, stick around. We'll see what's going down. I made a rhyme. What is going on guys? Welcome back. Uh, hit thrift this week. So let's just get right into it. Uh, picked up for $7 a copy of Xbox Live Arcade. Don't really know anything about this game. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to have a manual or not. But it's got like, uh, you know, Pac-Man Championship Edition and Uno and some stuff on there that I thought the kids would like. Again, I don't know anything about it. I picked it up for them. Uh, walked into a Goodwill that... Uh, I haven't been to in probably a month and a half just because they never have anything. And when they do have video games, they throw it all in the auction. Like one time they had like 15 or 20 all sports games for the PlayStation 2 in the auction. Like, okay. You know what I mean? Like, who cares? Horrible. But today they had uh, a box, like a tub on top of the counter with uh, game controllers in it. And I asked them if they were for sale yet. And she said, sure, they're $1.99. So I picked up a black GameCube controller and a platinum GameCube controller. Now they're in good shape. Like they're not like chipped or broken or anything. Um, and they do work. I tested them out. The black GameCube controller, you can see it just needs to be cleaned. It's like super dirty. Um, but other than that, you know, the sticks and everything's fine on it. The platinum one on the other hand is not only dirty, but it needs a, a stick replacement. But yeah, I mean, it snaps back real nice. But uh, I'll probably replace this one too, the C-Stick, because it's got like, I don't know, like somebody put dots or something on it. I don't know, man. I don't know what the hell these people do to this stuff, you know? Last thing we picked up, you guys saw it in the video. Um, I was going to pick up that custom Robo game for $9.99 because loose disc, it's going for about $20. Uh, I was missing the manual. Uh, but when I went to the, the register to pay for it, I was going to buy it. Um, and she pulled the disc out. I was looking at the disc and it looked like real sketch, so... I just decided to go ahead and pass on it. If it's there next week, most likely I'll just go ahead and pick it up um, for that price. I mean, I, I'm kicking myself now because I should have. But we did pick up one game for $19.99, which is a steal. We picked up Chibi Robo for the Nintendo GameCube. Um, this is a great find if you're not, you know, if you don't know. I think Fluffy Gamer picked up one of these for... 10 or 15 bucks or something they mispriced it at luna video games which is a video game store in his area uh, this this one is complete there's the uh, nintendo power flyer and there's the manual uh at the time you're seeing this game is probably going for about 70 bucks so yeah definitely a heck of a deal and i'm glad to have that because otherwise i probably wouldn't pay you know retail for that game um just because it's probably not something that i think that i'm into but for 20 bucks hell yeah 
Guys, that's going to do it for the pickups for this week. Kind of a slow week, but, uh, you know, they all can't be first-round draft picks, right? So let's just jump into our subscribers real quick, give them all shout-outs, and we'll get out of here. All right, first subscriber, Fire FireXXX, uh, Brent Crick, Mark Wood, T.S. Davies, R Riga, Riga uh, Creep1337. If you guys don't know, uh, Game Hunters are us. They're going to stop making videos. And Creep1337 is actually Josh from Game Hunters are us. That's his channel. That's his new channel, I guess. I, I don't think they had a falling out or anything. It's just kind of kind of one of those things where you know who, you know, it's time and with work and things like that. So, all right, video games and stuff. CPI Ethan, uh, Maza805, Daniel Schmale, uh, K Costalink one, and I think that's it. yeah okay. The next set of subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. The next set of subscribers. These guys all have YouTube channels or girls have YouTube channels. So definitely check them out. Links will be in the description. Heavy Plays does, uh, you know, like Let's Plays and stuff like that, obviously. Uh, Retro Rescue pickup videos. RJ the Blue Dragon does like uh, Smash Brothers and, you know, like Let's Plays of uh, Sonic Black Knight, Naruto, Dragon Ball Z. He has questions and answers, all that good stuff. Uh, Bayou Boy Entertainment. Some World of Warcraft stuff on there. Uh, Real Talk Inc. One Two Three does music, and Four Twenty has Four Twenty Have Fun also does music. Guys, thank you so much for subscribing, and uh, you know, yeah, leave a comment in the uh, comment section down below, and uh, we'll see you next time. Wow.